This is StarCraft. This is the most uh, played video games in esports today. Millions and millions of gamers play StarCraft. Uh, this is um, uh, one of the major games in esports with prize monies, multiple millions of dollars each year. Uh, this is a real-time strategy game where, where the gamer is uh, managing assets, uh, building their bases, um, partnering with, um, uh, with other races, and um, of course conquering, attacking, defending. Okay, real-time simulation game. It's actually a rather technical game, very strategic game. Uh, in fact, uh, schools even teach strategies based on real-time simulation games, um, based on uh, StarCraft. One of the things that, that uh, you see is that you're looking at an expansive world and you're going back and forth because you're managing your territory. Okay, and as you're looking at this, uh, this is with V-Sync on, which is basically uh, the monitor is synchronized at 60 frames per second, 60 hertz, and we only update the monitor whenever it is done with the vertical sync. That's why it's called vertical sync on. And you can see that every so often it stutters. And the reason for that is you're sampling, you're sampling the frames at 60, at 16 milliseconds. And every so often you sample the same frame more than once because the next frame's not quite ready yet. Okay, because the frame rate is so low. And that's why you see, you experience this chutter. All right, now you can turn, you can solve this problem um, and you can make it smoother by adding more buffers. And people call it double buffering and triple buffering. But the problem with double and triple buffering is that you add latency to the system. The more you buffer, okay, the more you buffer, the more latency you add. And so most gamers in this particular case, the gamers want so little lag because their ability to compete depends on how many clicks they can make per minute. And there are gamers that can actually strategically click 300 times a minute. And these are professional sports, of course. And, um, and so they turn off V-Sync, compromising visual quality so that they could be more competitive. Now let's show them V-Sync off. The lag from the mouse movement to the so the photons hitting your eyes has now been reduced dramatically. However, what's happening is you're seeing this tearing. The reason why it's tearing is because as soon as the GPU is ready, as soon as the GPU is ready, it starts sending the pixels to the monitor. The monitor could be only halfway through refreshing. And as a result, it captures half of the previous frame buffer and half of the next frame buffer, or some of the next frame buffer. And so as a result, you see that sharing with that tearing. So this is V-Sync off. It's much more, much more um, low latency, less lag. However, you now have tearing that you're experiencing. So we invented this technology. The buzz is incredible. It's called G-Sync. Okay, let's go to G-Sync. You guys see that? So this is what's happening. As soon as the, the GPU is ready, as soon as the GPU is ready, we're updating the frame. Now, this, the, 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 um, the, the notion of, of, um, of tearing is gone, um, but the lag is still incredibly low. As a result, you don't see the stuttering that usually comes with V-Sync on, and you don't see the tearing that comes with V-Sync off. Now, the buzz is incredibly high because we've been living with stuttering and lag for so long. Uh, John Carmack, who is the founder of it, uh, says that this is, this is uh, once you've experienced this, you can't go back. Yeah.